Sunday, September 18th, and today we are going to continue on with the autopilot uh, pitch servo mount. Uh, we've got the parts and pieces primed up there. I'm uh, gonna, gonna check out, see if we can actually put that mount in without the servo in yet. Um, not sure if that'll, if we can get that accomplished without having the other one in there. So we'll see about that, but the, then kind of the main thing that we're going to continue on with is going to be the roll servo, which will go over here on this side and attach to that aileron cable. So that's what's on the plate today. Well, I got this pitch servo mount uh, installed here. I'm not super happy with how that angle worked out on there. Um, it when we did the rivet hole uh, for the rivet, I think I was a little too far forward with it, so it's it set this angle back just a little tiny bit too far, in my opinion. So when we tighten this down, it's really put a stress on. It's this top is is the top is bent this way a little bit and it's picking up this back corner uh, so you can tell there's a lot of there's a lot of stress on that so I'm just gonna we're gonna drill this out we're gonna make another bracket that's pretty easy to do so we'll uh, do that drill it out make another bracket test fit it make sure that's gonna work okay and then uh, we'll prime it and put it back in Are getting these uh, are getting this autopilot roll servo prepped for installation I mean we're not going to install it today or anything like that but just getting it ready to go uh, if you're doing the Garmin autopilot the aileron uh, you have to swap out this control arm or this push-pull arm whatever you want to call it um, 
with a capstan and then there's a, the cable there's a cable that attaches to this and that cable will clamp onto the aileron cable and that's what moves it back and forth so this will roll back and forth so part of that is I have to remove this uh, nut and you have to remove this arm and you keep you keep everything except the cotter pin obviously but they give you a cotter pin in the kit uh, for the Garmin kit uh, to put the uh, to put the roller on Hey, here's a tip for you builders. <laughs> this bracket, this mount bracket has to go on the servo before you mount the wheel. So uh, we'll have to take all this off and then mount this and then put the capstan back, uh, back on there. with it lean all the way out too. This could move forward a little bit to there. We're working away on this here servo mount. Um, I didn't catch um, how, well, we kind of did a little bit. Anyways, we got this plate, we kind of got the servo uh, positioned in the airplane on the plate and kind of in a combination between the plate and moving the servo around left, right, forward, backward, we came up with a location. And then what I did was I just put a Sharpie mark on this edge here where the edge of the servo bracket is. So it just shows me from front to back where that where that was located. And then once we had that, 
and I've got that servo brackets aligned with this. So then we, yeah, we place the bushings on here. We put the servo on top of the bushings, got the bushings lined up. And then I just took a 3 16 I just took a 3 16 drill bit and went down through the, through the bushing and then just spun it to put a mark on the, on that plate. Did that in all four spots and then we took the servo off and the bushings and it had just the slightest little mark on there so I put a dot on each one of those. So now we'll center punch those and uh, drill those out. Okay, we are test fit with this Garmin roll servo and um, looks like it's fitting okay. We've got the seat scoot all the way up and where the latch is for the seat it's not it's not close, maybe within an inch, inch and a quarter of that servo there. And when we lower the seat down, when the seat's lowered down, oh, there goes the seat. Uh, when the seat's lowered down, it's uh, there's plenty of clearance underneath there. So there is a. Uh, initially, my concern was that the bolts that hold the servo onto the plate that they had to be clear of these tubes, and I would wasn't thinking, but uh, there is a five sixteenths bushing uh, in these clamps. So if you need to uh, for positioning, if that bolt head ends up on top of a a cross tube, um, you should be fine there. It can it can sit up above it. So, but this seems to be working here, at least as far as fit goes. I hope everything is right. I did cant it at an angle just a little bit to match the uh, angle on the uh, the cable, the aileron cable, and I did. Oh, can't see it. I bungeed the cable up to the frame. To the cage there, just bungeed it on and hooked it onto there. So just put a little bit of tension on that cable so we we're holding it tight uh, while we we're fitting this up. Well, it's another beautiful late summer day today. Um, at when we get really nice weather in this time of day, this time of year, that means winter's coming soon. Uh, I heard somebody on the radio say we're 100 days away from Christmas, so we probably got snow right around the corner. All right, we're done for today, and uh, we did get this uh, get this mount fixed. Uh, redid that angle mount for that clamp and uh, that's fitting a lot better uh, just when I measured it it's I measured it wrong I had the holes just a little bit short probably about oh, an eighth to a quarter inch short uh, so those uh, I just moved them out a little bit and that angle mount works fine 
that's all secured, that mount is in. And um, we got as far as uh, we've got our, um, the roll servo mount is all done, or not all done, it's uh, primed, it's hanging on the shelf, drying, we've got that all ready to go. And uh, let's see, any notes here for you? Um, oh, uh, shoot, sorry, I don't have them to show you. We can show, I'll show those later. But that mount, this mount here, where that servo comes in and there's the arm, uh, there are, there's a stop bracket, a forward and aft stop, safety stop bracket that goes on that servo. Um, normally it would mount directly flush with the servo, but since we've got this here, uh, they do make an accommodation for the screw hole here. However, in the back there isn't any, so I just created or uh, fabricated a 50,000 spacer uh, that's going to go in here, and we'll show this later, and had to do the same thing over there on that roll servo. Uh, for the, uh, the cable cage that goes on there. So we got those done and yeah, um, pretty good day today. Didn't get quite as far as I thought we would, but at least we got those, uh, that mount all ready to go as far as priming goes. Next step on that will be installing that. And, um, I think that's that's all we got on that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about. Not that I can think of. So, hey, um, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything, be sure to post those up. I'm happy to answer those as I can. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Have a good evening, and that's it for now.